You all hear me now? Hey, there we are. Um, got some audio. That's good, I think. Let me confirm that you guys can actually hear me now, because that'd be cool. Also, I found out there's a way for me to... Um, awesome. I found out um, there's a way for me to import the chat into my streaming software, so there's not such a delay. So I know me and Derek, I know you mentioned that before. Um, that that was a giant pain in the ass. It's always so delayed when I'm talking and you guys are trying to interact uh, Apparently I can import that into like an actual um, um, Piece of streaming software that I need to upgrade to so I'm gonna do that next week Just juggling all the things trying to make this better and better um, Let's see all right, so can you hear the music now too or just me talking? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll bring that up. Okay, quietly is decent. We'll turn it up some. Um, cool. Sorry, we always start the stream off with fun audio debacles. I don't know why I can't get this straight. But I think we're there. Derek, we were supposed to stream together tonight. Um, you still want to do that? You want to jump in the into the uh, Discord, or you want to just punch it to next week? I totally forgot about that. I apologize. Yeah, exactly. What is a stream without a little tech issue? For sure. Always tech issues on these things. But it's fine, so I don't mind. Um, oh, look, made some t shirts for this guy. Hard to tell. <laughs> Those are Derek's shirts. It's the good stuff. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna file save a. No, actually, maybe we'll file save that. So I'm just gonna use this as a template. I didn't even make my my freaking file this before I started. I've been got a call last minute. You know how that goes. I'm always juggling with things. 
So I have no audio, so I guess I repeat everything that I said to start. <laughs> so so if, you, if you watch this on Facebook, I'm repeating myself because no one heard me on the stream. But um, So yeah, this is uh, Cleanthus Studios and I am Colorful Carl. Um, so if you guys are just tuning into this for the first time, I do digital art every week, uh, you know, as a basically, you know, an homage to my father. He was an artist and an entrepreneur and basically inspired me to go on this whole creative journey that I've been on in my life. I uh, built this little creative empire where we do amazing work um, in illustration and animation and digital art. And um, we do stuff for Nickelodeon and TNT and sci-fi and uh, you know, SpongeBob and uh, we did some stuff for Avatar and we just keep stacking up all these amazing projects that I can't believe we're even doing like uh, you know a few years ago they were dreams and now it's just like this is a thing we do like every week which is pretty humbling but i say that to say like i wouldn't be doing any of this without my dad's influence in my whole life and uh so this stream really is, is homage to that like just um paying it forward creatively and just being uh inspired by it all the awesomeness that Put upon me, I guess. I don't know why I'm fumbling over. I said, oh, this was really smooth when I did it where there was no audio. <laughs> Sorry, and my brain's in another space right now, too. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, I told him on his deathbed I'd do something cool with his art, and that ended up being, like, posthumous collaborations, and uh, here we are. So I, I take all this stuff, and I put all this on the blockchain, too, as well as the collaborative pieces I do, and I try to tell little stories about them on the stream, and I try to, uh, you know, make sure that... I'm immortalizing, you know, his creative, his creativity uh, in the blockchain and just on streams and on YouTube and telling stories and just making sure that the creativity lives on. Maybe all this shit will inspire some kid that's not even born yet. One day when I'm gone, like, who knows? The possibilities are endless. Um, but it's really cool to even think about, right? So um, each week I'll start off with something. This is the one I did last week. So let's see, did I save the face layer? Yeah, check this out. So. This is, you know, what I started with. Actually, it's right here. Boom. That's the, that's the, my dad's sketch. It says, bar man. All right, so I did this one last week. This is from, I guess, the, it's either, you know, the debate's out still out if that was 877 or 577. And why are two seven, like that's clearly a seven. I don't, <laughs> and this book is from the 70s. I, a lot of his other art around this page are also in the 70s, the Spiral Bound Notebook. Um, I just, it's just funny, we were laughing last week because he has two different style sevens right there. Like, why not? Why, why would you only do a seven in one style? Seems boring, right? Anyways, that was my old man for you. Always, always being crazy, doing crazy things. So, let's kick this one off. So this week, I'm gonna use another little face thing. Uh, let's see. And if you wanted to check out any of our stuff, you can go to clean.studio. Uh, also, the NFTs are still up. Uh, those are always for sale, for bid. Um, they do come with an original signed one-of-one -one print if it's one of the colorful collabs. Colorful collabs are the pieces that I do from Dad's Art. Um, and then the ones that say, like, Faces of a Mad Artist, those are unique originals of my father. Those are one-of-one -one, uh, pieces of art as well as NFT. So you get both when you purchase uh, the NFT. And we are indeed setting up a print store. So if you don't want to drop, you know, 300 plus bucks on an original piece of art, which is still a steal, and I promise if you buy one of these, they'll be worth way more than that in just a few years because I'm never going to stop doing this. I love this shit. It's so much fun. Um, so, you know, consider it an investment if you buy a piece of this art and it's something beautiful and, uh, you know, has a whole lot of meaning and, and substance behind it, which is really cool. So, uh, if you go to clean.studio, you can click on the link that it, at the top, that's where, you know, the live stream link if you're watching on Facebook. But also, if you want to check out the NFTs, you can click on the Faces of the Mad Artist NFT drop. i got to update the text on that. Uh, and that's where you go to browse through all the current pieces I have for sale. Um, these again are original pieces of art. If they say faces of a mad artist, I have a tangible physical piece in my possession that I will mail to you. Uh, also, if you look at the ones that say 
uh, colorful collab. They're kind of mixing there. There's 86 of them. Those come with a authenticated museum quality one of one print from me that I sign and will never have another official one of one print. Anything else will be just kind of generic one off stuff from online web stores and things of that nature. The official print will be the one that comes with the NFT or the uh, official print uh, or the NFT comes with the official print, you know, whatever, whatever you're into there. <laughs> Hey, Andrea. Good to see you. Hope things are well over there for you. Um, cool. All right. So let's get into some art. Uh, my music. I guess I need to adjust that. That is the station. I have a, I bought a little streaming thing for music and uh, it's hit or miss, you know? The last couple weeks we've had some, some cool stuff and then some, you know, not maybe little questions and stuff that's like hey this is, this is not this is killing my vibe anyways um cool so let's see what i got here so i had two faces last week that we picked out so i believe that's in the old art bank yeah, some faces cool i think this is my jam this week i'm gonna rock with this weird face here <laughs> dude I, i'm kind of already excited um should it be? I think, I, this one kind of feels like I should make it landscape. I've only done one land, maybe two landscapes. Uh, landscape orientation, that is. So, um, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to rotate the camera. Rotate. Push every direction. Do that away. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Uh, like the drawing of Alf Alden in the background here. I don't know if you guys have seen this on my website. But, uh, some flowy hair is where my head's going. I, oh God, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see where it goes. So I'm gonna do that. Let me check the stream. Oh, I see it's there. All right. Um, gonna make it bigger. It's too much white space. <laughs> oh, that could be gnarly. Okay, I'm talking to myself a bunch. I, I think that's what I'm like supposed to do here, right? Just talk to myself a whole bunch while I'm live streaming. Looked like, like trying to keep that paper texture last week. I remember talking about it. I don't think I actually did that. So. That's all right. But Derek, hey, um, next week, let's do it for real next week. We got to talk about it like this weekend or something, or maybe even Saturday um, specifically. Uh, where was I at? Uh, but let's let's look at doing that. Um, like to have you on next week. Maybe do some collaborations like we were talking about. It should be a lot of fun, man. Doing art for the super fan. Derek's the number one fan. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a title, Derek. You and Andy, number one fans. I'll make a special category in the Discord and on the stream. Looks hideous. There we go. Copy the old face. It was cool to get four new paintings of my dad's. Um, I guess they were in a shipping container at my brother's restaurant, and they're just enormous. And now they're in my garage. Got four big ones, like. As big as the ones on the ceiling. Those are, you know, six foot by four foot, something like that. So, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with those. I need more painting. I can't not take them. Like, I got to take care of this stuff. It's, in, it's special. Those are the crazy old man's. I love how I have a different technique for doing this every week. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. Alright, so let's get rid of this.
So I'm just using the purple in the background for contrast for now. I just don't want any slight to my Oh, there you go. Look at that. This to reference. I know there's a much better way for me to be doing this. Let me try something else real fast. Oh, select subject. Well, that wasn't it. Should use for this. Let me scroll through what I got in the past, see if there's something. My dad's paintings here, this crazy looking thing. What's up, little man? How you doing? talk about it. Check it out on your phone. I'm streaming right now, dude. Yeah, I don't even think I've rehooked that up. I gotta set that up for you soon. I love you. Crazy man. So, this will be fun to work from. Go with like a, let's play up this like yellowy orange here. The face. Why not? I don't want it at 100%, that's for sure.
I'm just gonna fill in some base color for the face here. I think, like I said, I think I'm gonna go with like an orange. For starters. It's really a strange thing just talking to yourself all night. I promise. So I asked Mia, free. Well, I don't have any opinions about a hundred percent free game that doesn't seem bad. Not right now, love. It's not set up. It's not hooked up to the internet. Like, you won't be able to do... But I, I'm happy to set that up for you tomorrow, okay? Hey, Zeke, can you shut that door, brother? I love digital painting. Just grab a color and slap it on the page whenever you want, yeah. It's quite nice. There, could you please shut that door? It's like a. These things are like deranged coloring, I mean, coloring book for the mentally disturbed, you know? That's what my dad would call me. Oh my god. I just I think I'm gonna make those. Now. Just gonna have all these line arts in there. Just, just do your coloring book. I don't think that's what I'm gonna call it too. Who'd love that? <laughs> coloring books for the mentally disturbed. <laughs> uh, Where do I come up with? Drop one of his little flowy paintings. He's got a bunch of them. I'm trying 
try to track which ones I pull in by um, doing a copy of them. <sighs> I feel like I've used a bunch of these a bunch, though, so I need to make sure that I go back and get some fresh ones because I have thousands of these. Eh, I have. Thought a lot. That looks cool. I like that. What's up, Neil? You want to see what I'm working on? I am uh, shamelessly baiting people in from Facebook to Twitch. Uh, if you go to clean.studio, you can. There's a link to the piece of art I'm working on. If you guys are checking me out on. Uh, yeah, dude, I'll get you a color book, Derek. I definitely think that's a cool idea, making a color book. Uh, in the purple, yeah, I love the purple too. I feel like I, I let I do too much purple, so I'm trying to be a little mindful of that. But then again, I also just don't care. I do what I want. It's my art. I do it however I want to do it. Since it's purple every week, it's purple. <laughs> Cool. I went through all pictures on my phone. So I have three of my dad's pieces of art in this right now. <laughs> this is so much fun. God, I miss him. Think about that yesterday. Think about it every day. He's such a like really cool human being. I don't know anybody that knew him that doesn't miss him. Just like a really fascinating, ridiculous human being. So I got off the phone with the gallery owner uh, in the Times Square gallery where my, I have 10 pieces on display. Two of them are sold, which is amazing. And um, we're going to do another show in September. Uh, I'm not going to be able to attend, but I am going to live stream whatever dates they want. I might do a couple live streams that week so that I can stream from here 
and uh, you know make a new piece of art while my art's on display in New York, which is super cool. Um, I forget which pieces. Well, I know which pieces are there, but I sold Treesus, the tree face one, and then I sold Meta Minded. So that's pretty cool. So good for people to like want to buy my art. What an amazing feeling! I can't even express how cool that is. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> you know, especially on like something where you do it like. You know, I think I've talked about this before, but we do a lot of commission. We do a lot of commissioned art for advertising purposes and stuff like that. So when when something like this really resonates with somebody, it's it's quite special because uh, this is for me. You know, it isn't for anybody else in particular, right? Like so I, when when it, when I do something that's like wild and beautiful and unique, and somebody else loves it and it resonates with them. It's really cool because that's like that's art, you know, quintessentially. Um, it's also interesting because sometimes it doesn't resonate with somebody at all, and that's okay too. You know, so it just is what it is. I'm trying to get an eraser. I hate how some of these brushes are like only erasers. edge eraser is what I was looking for. It's got a natural edge to it, guys. Like me, you know? Naturally edgy. I don't know what the fuck I mean by that, but... <laughs> Sweet. Let's do that. I don't know. Let's blend that out some. Texture back here, I'm losing. Wanna touch me deep inside? Then lay your eyes on me. Capture me as I run. So I'm uh, just doing uh, some more content aware fill. So what that does is uh, uses the existing data on that layer to make new stuff, uh, make new pixel information on that layer so just filled that in with approximations I made like this little army of ghost faces there it's kind of fun oh man i just remember this one piece i have i should do that next week or the week after next me and derek are collaborating next week derek we're collaborating let's do this Stashes for some reason. <laughs> Super stupid. Uh, so 
therapeutic though. I dream about my dad all the time when I'm doing stuff and prepping up for these type of things. It's just fun. It's a cool thing. I miss him terribly. Some days it's just like a lot. Break. I just cried about it this morning. I hadn't cried about it in months. I just missed him this morning, you know? It's too dark. It's been, a, it's been an overwhelming and moving experience to lose someone that was so dear to me. Remember when he first passed away, I have a, I have a little album of his that he recorded. Like, it's actually really good, really folky, cool stuff. Um, if you ever want to hear what he sounded like, you can listen to his music. I think I played it on the, uh, I just dropped the link in the chat, but it's teddycleanthus.com. Uh, but um, yeah, he, uh, he recorded all these like really cool songs. He made, he made a couple himself and a lot of them were um, covers of like Bob Dylan and Janis Joplin and um, God, no, who was the other one? But, um, Stuff he was into, you know. He was born in '43. He was an old man. <laughs> He'll be almost 80 now. God, that would have been cool. I can't imagine, like, what a not give a fuck crazy old man he'd be at 80, because he was special at 70. And like another, just throwing another close to decade on that would have been wild. <laughs> uh. I remember he was dying of cancer, like on his deathbed, right? Well, 70 years old, in the hospital, on his birthday, actually, right? And like, they're like, look, you got bladder cancer. And he's just like, well, okay, well, what does that mean? And what can we do about it? He's like, oh, well, we're gonna have to take out your bladder. And uh, for safe measure, you know, we're, we're also gonna need to take out your prostate. And my dad goes, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm like, what do you mean we're gonna take out my prostate? And he's like, yeah, you know, we, we can't, you know, take the risk of it spreading to your prostate, yada, yada, right? So I said, look, he said, wait a second, Doc. What, well, what's that going to do for my sex life? And I, <laughs> so we're just like, is, is this motherfucker serious? He's 70 years old talking to his doctor about his sex life, right? And he's like, oh, well, I mean, you won't have one. And he goes, well, well, he's like, look, what's the fucking point? Like, what are you talking about? I won't have one. If I don't have a sex life, I'm all set. Like, it's like, really, dude? Like, <laughs> whatever motherfucker but he was just ridiculous like that um, that's uh, Derek you asked me like a few weeks ago what was like a super funny story for my dad it was definitely that um, just the whole the whole conversation he had with his doctor about his sex life was absolutely ridiculous um, yeah for sure ridiculous he was that that type of ridiculous human being but yeah, that's, that's what I had to had to deal with. You don't want to live, you can't have a sex life. 70 years of it wasn't enough. Ridiculous. It's so funny though. <laughs> it's just ridiculous to think about. Why is that doing that? Oh, my color. So many little subtle nuances of how all this software works. It's like uh, probably a little overwhelming for most people to even get into this. I hate how that works. I was trying to avoid this like white haloing on the line art, but uh, clearly I failed at that. So. Do a little research for the next stream because it's something I do every week. And it should be. I know there's much easier ways to do that. But whatever. As I mentioned, also, it's just kind of fun just doing it with a more traditional approach, right? Like if this was an actual piece of paper, I wouldn't have an option to, like, whatever. If I was tracing it out. I mean, the first couple times I did this, I traced them out on a light table and then drew them like on top of that so this isn't that it was easier 
I'll just go with it. You know? Won't be all complainy and whiny. Does everyone like this earlier time? Is this a better time for everybody? This 9 o'clock instead of 10 on my time? I feel like I'm a little fresher, that's for sure. Pixels. Yeah, it's just It's a sour taste feeling, it's a sour taste To be fooled again, honey, to be fooled again Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces Yes, you did No, it's not the way I planned No, it's not the way I wanted No, it's not the things I meant Know that I'm not being honest Not the way I wanted us to make it Hey, Lauren. Good to see you. Happy belated birthday now. Hope you guys had fun at the beach.
<laughs> it's coming together already. Weird, like these. When I do these, like I, I just feel like I can't miss. Like this is such a good baseline. Like the art is so cool and the colors are so cool. Like I just slap them together enough. Like eventually, it's awesome. You know. Maybe I'm just getting cocky. I don't know. I'm gonna bomb one of these nights. One of these nights. Sierra, Ivy, Sierra, I don't know, gamer, gamer raider girl, <laughs> just, I don't know, everyone has too many names these days, never know what to call people, <laughs> out what color maybe it's like beard is more blue and the purples are in the background This way, let me know. We'll connect again. Potentially. Jeremy streaming. Nothing, that nickname has nothing to do with art. <laughs> uh, I guess we kind of like we made it up last year. My wife and my uh, buddy John were trying to build a brand for myself. It was more towards the level of energy and enthusiasm I typically conversate at. But it works. 
really well here as well. Who would have thunk it? They probably did. Let's see. I feel like we need a purple t-shirt. <laughs> it's like a like a almost like a 70 it's like a grateful dead biker dude or something you know long hair riding on his harley in like a tie-dyed shirt yeah i don't know why not i feel like it could work Some angles are like, I don't even like the draw. I have like my. It just doesn't feel comfortable. Which is cool because I can just rotate the canvas in Photoshop. I'm like a giant painting. Like, I don't like to do. Like, I like to move up that, but like, I don't want. Like, that, that doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> it's an interesting issue when you're painting on a big piece in particular where you can't really position around it. Piece of art here. They're always odd around, the, around this studio. It's so funny to me, like I can do art like this and then art like the tree monster. They they actually are wildly different uh, in terms of fulfillment for me. Like, uh, oh, what up, Jeremy? I didn't see you there. Um, like this is like a whole different vibe and feeling of satisfaction when I make this than like when I make a really detailed, more realistic piece. It's just interesting to me. It's just like a, almost like a fully different experience even though it's largely the same on the surface, right? Making art for, but pushing into realism is a different expression you know? know. oh we got affiliate too I haven't finished setting that up that was on my to-do list before I launched the stream tonight clearly I didn't make it um, so basically next week when you join you'll be like oh my God. I think there's ads that I get paid revenue on I don't know if that becomes like a thing that's terribly annoying for people just let me know and i'll punt them uh, but basically it's like an ad right at the beginning when you log in and when you watch those ads it helps pay me to do this and continue to make art and make this a, a viable thing and invest more in cool technology and softwares to do even more cool art and make more nfts and frankly if this was generating more money, I'd be giving all of you all NFTs um, so that <clears throat> as NFTs take hold, uh, and they will, I promise you, uh, in the next few years um, in different marketplaces, like you guys will be rewarded for like being early supporters of this cool shit that I'm doing, uh, which I am so grateful for. So. But, alas, one 
I want to say I'm gonna leave. I like leaving the signature there, but I think I'm gonna take it off and then put it back. Art. No. Return it. Would be cool. Blab of color, got some blabbiness to it. Mm -hmm. It's funny to me, I went to school at ODU and they built this big, beautiful art gallery, and uh, half of it is dedicated to artists that are uneducated in art. <laughs> like, I guess literally are promoting. I mean, I love it, like, because I don't think you need art school to be an artist like for sure but at the same time like kind of sends the wrong message uh in my mind like man, i mean the other half of it they've used you know for curated shows of like usually educated artists uh or like you know local stuff like that but it's just a funny dichotomy to me like wouldn't you guys want to really be pushing art education and being a fine artist like it's I don't know. What do I know? Like a, if you look it up, there's like a golden ratios and triangles and like all the ways that uh, things are aesthetically pleasing. Like if you put it right, the focal point right on the center, that's not terribly aesthetically pleasing. But like in third, so like his eyes basically lined up right in the left third. And, and like you thought about it as a trifold brochure, you know, right on that middle crease is a focal point. And I think it just, it's a little more aesthetically pleasing there which is funny because this is literally a lot like this <laughs> the picture I did of my wife <laughs> my camera's got this sweet light on it that's fun I bought a, a razor streaming cam should be a little clearer a little sharper than typically um, I don't think it is. I like it. It's nice. So, that's working. Everybody's real chat, real quiet in the chats tonight. Which is fun. Everybody doesn't have to chat all the time.
really actually I'm kind of liking this like serious cross hatching and leaving that in there. I might even add in more. You know, add like make that shirt style work. Might be kind of cute. So now I'm just sort of going in and punching out the detail. Brings the piece to life a little more, a little shading, a little highlighting, you know. Just leaving Emily's. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool, Derek. Tell Emily to get on. of Emily's cards. It's on my to-do list. We um got some some nice contracts today. Worked on worked on some got some new projects to kick off. We're excited about that over at the old Epic Made shop. I won't get into it in too much detail, but it's good stuff. Some of the some of the best stuff this year. I'm excited. business moving in the right direction. this at all but that's okay I'm gonna make it work I think sometimes when I'm doing these, I try to get too realistic with it, and it's just 
not supposed to be that way. Like this shit is crazy you know, on purpose. Like out the gate. I used to think that my dad actually wasn't capable of doing really real, like more realistic representational art. And I found some of his stuff that like really says otherwise, and it's kind of surprising. And I wouldn't even think it was his, but it was signed. It's almost like if, like my stuff, like if I spent my whole life doing, you know, what you guys see, these kind of things, and then you saw some of my more realistic stuff, he was like, oh, that's not even the same artist, but it is. Like it's pretty cool. So I found some of those the other day in, in one of these little notebooks. So cool. I don't know why. I think everybody should do art. At least a little bit, you know, have some fun with it and explore. Nobody's good at art when they first start either. I, I think a lot of people take that for granted. Like there's some kind of like ridiculous, raw, natural talent that some people have. I haven't met any of those people. I haven't met anybody whose first stuff, whenever they started, wasn't trash. Even, you know, the difference is some people just start really early and start get all the trash out of the way when they're like so young that it's like, oh, that's great art, son, we'll put that on the fridge. It's garbage, you know? Well, if you stay with it from then, you're just a natural talent by middle school. But it's not really the case. It skips the whole learning phase just because you did it when you were young. That's my theory. In case anybody was out there asking for my theory on art. Uh, don't mind me. Add a little purple in here. Because why the hell not? You can't keep me far. I still really wonder what the idea was behind these little things on their face. Yeah. Is the stream not loading well? What's this buffering over here? shine that word. Like a creasy wrinkles face wrinkles we're just gonna go that route
grabbing a piece of this. I think I'm gonna make this look more like a collar here. Struggle trying to figure out what, what, how some of this art line, some of these lines are just, um, they don't work. Just need to embrace that it doesn't work, let it look a little abstract. And that's okay. Let my OCD relax. And that's what this type of art is for. working for me What up, Brian? Thanks for dropping by, doing some art. You can check it out on uh, the Twitch stream. There should be a link on the comment on the Facebook post promoting the uh, live. But I'm just over here doing art. This is, um, if you've never checked out what I work on, so every Wednesday night I do a uh, posthumous collaboration with my late father um, passed away in 2016 so I take some of his art and then I draw on top of it and I layer in a bunch of different like the piece I'm working on tonight is a, a line art sketch of his one of the faces he had in a notebook from the 70s which was I was born in the 80s and uh, so then I just take that and bring it to life again with new awesomeness <laughs> but yeah so I just paint over top of it and I've added in two of his other paintings right now, which is looking pretty cool. And I just like to make these colorful, wild, abstract, sort of, but not so abstract that you can't, there's not form to it, but yeah. They're just fun and colorful and bizarre. and Some people like them. It's good times. At least Derek likes them, at the very least, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go back and do some cross hatchy stuff. of all this done a little better. So green hair and a purple beard. Why not? That'll work, right? Anybody else got opinions on that? I think it'll work. 